in this video we are going to talk about lab scenario now remember if you want to learn something so realistic you have to create a realistic but fake story the story is basically based on reality but we are going to be creating fake people in this whole story and of course the whole lab is a lab environment so we're going to also create people just like our lab environment we're going to call it real world lab these people are going to be acting like real world scenarios so let's get started so the first thing is lab scenario now here's the thing we are going straight to this person named sherry now who is she she is picked by our community our discord community so if you're not in if you're not a part of this community you should really really join that because this is the fun stuff that we do we put multiple pictures out there and she won this job and there you go she got the job now you see i'm not talking about how did she get the job what kind of resume all that stuff is uh, not relevant to this lab course because we want to learn the lab stuff so if you are missing that stuff like okay why did you just jump into this lab then of course you need to be in a discord community because you're missing something and that is resume getting ready knowing about this job all of that stuff is covered already so we're not gonna invest our time into that this is about she got the job and now she went to this building and it's her first day now remember the first day is always something in the normal real world environment It's something like you go there and maybe you'll meet HR people you'll meet IT managers they walk you around the whole building they give you the books to read all the policies all these username and passwords a building maybe it may be smaller building or big building or could be buildings you know so you probably will be meeting a lot of people but we're not interested in that that's something i'm just telling you if you haven't done the work before then that's how it is just take it slow take it easy take some notes and don't worry too much most of the people like i say 90 percent of the people are gonna train you on everything that they uh, will basically you know uh, give you like all this technical stuff usually they do train you um, now of course if you know about all these skills why you're doing this lab so then you're not relying on other people that's the only reason you're doing this okay so now moving on we are in this building and we have to meet some people now like I said we're not talking about every single individual over here we're only interested in the important people now in this lab scenario we have basically a CEO who just bought this building and basically he also hired a systems administrator you're going to see him in a second and he also hired you as a support tech but at this point he doesn't know anything about technology so he told the sysadmin that hey why don't you meet with Sherry so then you move on to the meeting right now that's why I'm going quickly because this is a lab environment like I said we have covered this in our courses so if you're brand new, please go back to the jobskillshare.org and take the full learning path because then you need to know all this stuff in detail. So in our first meeting, a sysadmin basically sitting with his laptop, you go over there with the notes right there and you're basically kind of like listening right now. You're taking notes. Just like in real world, you're going to be doing the same thing. So pay attention over here. Because if you're a brand new IT professional, you should really understand how this company have built their network but since this is a brand new network this sysadmin was assigned a job so he can basically share what our, what has already been done in this whole building so the sysadmin came and he said that hey Sherry in our building we're using Verizon they came and they gave us a connection after that basically the whole building was set up with wiring and everything then the network engineers this is another department it's like a vendor they don't stay here but they're like in a different city or state and they did all the patch panel they put all the switches and routers and everything and then after that they did some firewall stuff and everything and I helped them out with a little bit in there too and they kind of shared that knowledge with me and then after that you know the whole building offices uh, you know wires were uh, patched so if you go back to the building and you go open the open any office right now um, they're ready the, the, you just need to get the cables and get your laptops basically ready and those are gonna start working but again Sherry you do need to know about what type of infrastructure do we use and all of that stuff so that's something I'm gonna later on tell you because it may take you some time so um, basically uh, 
are you ready to set up this whole environment? And she's like, hmm, I don't know what kind of environment it is, but let's just do it because that's how we all learn, right? So he basically go over ISP patching and, you know, cabling and stuff like that, some networking, and then he showed some servers and everything. And then after that, he basically says that how the, the servers that I am going to basically access is basically running under virtualization. So right now, everything went above your head. At this point, nothing made too much sense to you. So, of course, that he made a major point in this was that, hey, Sherry, your job is to actually maintain these laptops and desktops or whatever users touch. So I'm going to be teaching you. I'm going to basically shadow uh, support you as well, and I'll be basically teaching you this stuff. Okay, so that's how it is. Now, moving on. So the sysadmin tells Sherry that in this environment, don't focus too much on how many departments we have right now. Focus on what we are going to do to help this, the new people that we're going to bring them into this building. So he says that, okay, the first thing I want you to learn is that how your machine is going to be set up. Because if you don't know your machine, you don't know how to use your machine, of course, you cannot help the staff laptops, staff personal machines. You probably won't even know how to even use the network or anything. You you will be uh, lost. So the first thing I'm going to do, Sherry, is that, of course, I am going to uh, make sure that you make your machine the proper way so then you can start supporting other people. But even before that, Sherry, when these laptops, we buy from Dell, they're going to come with the normal operating system or sometimes they may not even ha have operating system. So we'll have to install it from scratch. Now, a little bit fast forward in these labs, we have already basically given you the operating system. It's just on a work group. So you may say, what is work group? That's something we're going to uh, define later on. So far, we're talking about setting up these machines and we're just giving you one simple example. There's a help desk machine, there's a staff machine, and then there's a personal laptop. And Sherry's taking notes right now. So the systems administrator is like, okay, Sherry, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I have four machines right now, so let's do one setup. We're going to create a domain controller because we want to manage all of these machines from a single server and she's like hmm okay I, at this point she's like i don't know too much about the this domain control but let's say he's talking right now she's just listening so he's saying i'm going to create a domain controller then i am going to create a help this machine and then i'm going to create a home machine and then staff machine okay so the home machine is basically the staff personal machine and the staff uh, 1w10 is the uh, business laptop and help this is for Sherry and domain controller is for this guy systems administrator, but Sherry will be working on that too. So Sherry then jumped in over here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I have a problem over here. How did you get to this domain controller? Um, how did, how did that happen? I mean, you just kind of like, you're just showing it to me on my laptop, but how did you open that? Uh, so this, this is where the sysadmin is like, Hmm. Okay. You're missing a pretty core knowledge over here so you know how i'm missing i'm basically accessing this i am actually using virtualization and here you go i'm showing you this one big giant box powerful machine and in that there is a virtual machine running under some type of technology and i'm using that virtual machine directly from my machine and she's like hmm okay i have no clue what you're talking about virtualization what the hell is that then he he kind of know that okay now you don't have the virtualization knowledge now this is where he's going to use his ability to share knowledge nobody's going to sit there and try to explain everything from the a to z in lab environment or even a real world environment they expect you to know this stuff and i'll prove it to you in a second why this video is more of like a meeting video and why it's so important for you to understand this whole video because if you don't do this Later on, you can finish the whole lab. You will still come back confused. Uh, you will still go to the job confused, basically. So the sysadmin came in and he realized that, okay, you're missing a very core knowledge about how infrastructures work these days in 2020, especially right now. Sherry, you really need to click on this playlist. And this playlist will be provided to you in the description and also in this, in this uh, power slide. So you need to click on this playlist and this is from all the way from one video to all the way to the last video. You need to finish this uh, full playlist. 
And Sherry's taking notes right now. Sherry's like, why do I need to take this playlist? Because Sherry, in this, you will learn how I access this machine. In this, you will learn how virtualization works in a real environment. I will show you how a real server, how I convert a real hardware into a virtualized server. And I'm going to show you two different major technologies that you will be uh, kind of using it in your future. Or if you're working with me in the future, if you want to become a sysadmin, then you will be managing this stuff with me. Then Sherry, I also recommend you to join our Discord community. This is where I have a very... Uh, you know good community where we all share knowledge with each other and you may find some friends and you may uh, You know do some live trainings and stuff like that. Make sure to join that then Sherry also remember to join Spiceworks because I will not be around uh, For you all the time. I may go on a vacation or I may be very busy So you need to be in a community that's publicly available to everybody. It has more than six million IT professional Sherry You really need to get into this community So then if there's an issue or the, there's a question or even a career related question You should ask these professionals because they're working in, on this type of stuff on daily basis then also sherry i will recommend you be a part of a career development platform which is jobskillshare.org basically i do my practice labs i do my virtualization training i do my security training every single thing is available over there so uh, basically so today you learn something you can go to jobskillshare and open your lab and actually perform that lab now that is what this sysadmin will say to you in a real world too if they want to share knowledge most of them are not going to sit there and try to teach you everything from scratch. Maybe they'll just go over 30 minutes on thing, but that's that's it. The rest is your stress. So this is what you're doing. Now, you must be asking me a question. Why did you go over all of this stuff, Danish? Now, it's important. Now, let's bring our HR lady over here. The HR lady, if you look at her descriptions, she went out there. These are two help desk jobs out there. And look which one am I highlighting. I'm highlighting virtualization platform VMware Hyper-V in one. And on the bottom, it says familiar with virtualization VMware. You see how powerful it gets when you know stuff. Because that description, if a brand new person see this, they would have no clue if they come out of A plus certification or any basic level training. They will have no clue at all. So when you don't have a clue, you don't have confidence. When you don't have confidence, you don't move ahead. And that is the normal way how normal human beings work. You need to get confident, right? So how do you get confident? Now, the sysadmin told you a technique. He's telling you where to go, and he's even giving you a playlist. Now, it's really up to you if you want to get that confidence or not. So, But the reality is that even a help dispositions, people are going to put this in their description. And then, on top of that, the other most important part of this is this. You're going to come over here, and on your resume, after learning, you can put this stuff in there. So it's a major, major skill out there. Virtualization is a major skill. So when they see this on your resume now, you already went through, you did some study on it, you probably touched some virtualization, maybe in VirtualBox too. And now when you have this on your resume and in your key areas, people are going to start respecting your resume. This is where when people complain about, I don't, I'm not getting a call because you're not investing your time how I am basically telling you this stuff because this is stuff you have to do a research on it. You have to really take it so serious that every single thing matters then. So you do study, you see that it's coming in the description, your confidence is great over there because you see it, you know it, you already put it on your resume, people are going to call you back and now the next level is going to be the interview where you're going to defend this stuff very smoothly. So. In this video, the whole point was the meeting with this guy because you you got stuck there. You you basically asked a question where he was about to promote this server to a domain controller. You totally got stuck. You didn't know how this whole thing, how did he even get to that domain controller? So where was it coming from? We're not talking about domain connected environment, none of that stuff. That's coming actually. That's next. That's We're going to get hands on now. But after watching this whole videos this virtualization video by clicking on this playlist and the link that is in the description you finish this stuff then you will be like this yes i know virtualization it's a technology that lets you create useful it services using resources that are traditional bound to hardware it allows you to use a physical machine full capacity by distributing its capabilities among many users or environments it's the big hardware is being utilized by some some software like vmware right 
and it has the ability to virtualize. If it doesn't have it, then it doesn't have it. But most of the brand new, even uh, you know, the older systems still have virtualization going on. And the rest of the examples, here's two examples. You guys can read this out. But that's my main goal. So after this, the sysadmin is happy now because he can move on and teach, uh, you know, Sherry and do some hands-on stuff and get to the lab. And that is exactly what we're going to do in our next lab. As you can see, it says, great. Now that you know where our servers is running from, let's set up a domain controller. And in the next lab, we're going to set up a domain controller and we're going to explain this hands-on because it's just going to get more hands-on after this. But this video, if you didn't get it, I want you to watch it again. I want you to watch it like two or three times. If you still didn't get it, then come to our Discord community and ask us questions based on this video. Because most likely I will say that, did you do the course? Or are you taking this for the first time? So if you're missing the fundamental course, then maybe I'll tell you to do that. But you don't have to actually. Because this lab, I'm doing it from scratch. So I hope it made sense to you why we're doing this. Why, why, we went, why we spent almost 16, 17 minutes talking about this stuff. Because this is the core. The whole core of this lab is this what we're doing today. So we can't just jump into technical stuff without explaining where can you go and learn these things quickly. So by my next video, I hope that you will go over my playlist in virtualization and you'll make the sysadmin happy because this guy is going to ask you more questions when it gets to technical stuff. I'll see you in the next video.